Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So a lot of you guys seem to want to see videos where I kind of style my luxury items, specifically handbags. And this is going to be the first video in kind of like a series that I want to do where I showcase one outfit per handbag in my collection. And this is going to be something that I want to do every single season. So today's video is going to be a winter edition of this one outfit per handbag series that I'm doing. And the outfits that I'm going to be showing you guys are going to be a mix of pieces that I've owned for a while now, plus some new items in my wardrobe. So in the description box below, whenever I can find the exact item still available for sale, I'll link that below along with the size that I purchased. And for the items that are from past seasons and are already sold out, I'll try to link something similar so you can recreate these outfits if you want to. And I wanted to mention that there are two bags that I won't be showing in this video. One of them is the book tote in the twa the tree pattern and that one is a bag that I would only use in the spring and summer and the second one is a wicker bag which as you can imagine only really fits in for summer outfits so I didn't want to try too hard to make an outfit for it in the winter so yeah I'm going to leave those out but I have 10 total bags and 10 total outfits to show you guys so let's get into this video so for my first outfit, I have this very simple black crew neck sweater and I paired it with this kind of like brownish colored plaid midi skirt and it has this really pretty knot detail at the waist over here. So this midi skirt I would say is on the longer end of midi skirts or maybe I'm just short and it also has this kind of slit down the leg which goes up to about mid thigh so I like that it doesn't look quite as stuffy I guess because of the slit and I thought that this would look really nice with my Fendi peekaboo this is the iconic medium peekaboo I actually think that this looks really nice with this kind of teddy coat that I have here or if you wanted it to be a little bit more dressed up you can always go for um, a wool coat like this one that I have here but I thought that it looked really nice with this teddy coat so Here's what it looks like on. So yeah, this is first outfit. And next I have this white turtleneck top with this plaid pinafore dress that I purchased in the fall and it was actually one of my favorite fall purchases. I did not know how versatile a pinafore dress would be until I really started to mix and match things in my wardrobe. So I've worn this in so many different ways. So it looks great with any kind of white top. I've worn it with a kind of button down shirt too. And I've also worn it with a blazer over top. So yeah, I really love this. And this kind of just has a bit of that cute element to it and of course since it's winter i do have a pair of tights on underneath because this is kind of like a shorter length so this goes really really great with one of my favorite bags in my collection which is the chanel 2.55 reissue this one is in their small size so the 225 size and yeah i just think this looks so great together it's so chic and this outfit i had actually worn in one of my shopping vlogs and i had it paired with this coat right here which this is one of the coats that i get the most compliments when i'm wearing it i was at chanel shopping and my sales associate there actually asked me if it was a coat from chanel so i think there's maybe a few sizes left. I'll have it linked down below. So I think this coat probably looks the best when you have it completely buttoned up like this. And of course, this is going to completely cover the pinafore dress. But yeah, I think this looks really nice just with the bit of the turtleneck peeping out from the top. And with this bag. Now I've seen variations of this outfit all over Instagram recently and it's basically this oversized white button down shirt with a sweater vest on top and some people wear it kind of as a dress with either a pair of tights underneath or just bare legs 
or you can do what I did, which is kind of wear it as a top with a pair of leggings or pants underneath instead. And I have it with a pair of just simple black pants and I have it cinched in at the waist to give it a little bit more shape because otherwise it is a little bit on the baggy side, but it does also look really nice without the belt also. And this white shirt is actually one of my husband's shirts instead of my own because I was looking for an oversized white shirt for so long and everything that I was able to find was just so long on me that it looked like I was drowning in fabric. So yeah, I decided to take this one from his closet and it's even better because this is a non-iron shirt and I absolutely hate ironing. So if you're looking for an oversized shirt, I'll link down below where he gets his from. So yeah, if you want kind of like this type of look, I think that's actually the better way to go. And I have this outfit styled with my Louis Vuitton Neverfull MM in the Damier of Ben. And I just love how this kind of has this effortless look to it. Very pretty. And I actually think that this bag could go with so many of the outfits in this video today. But of course, I had to pick one to pair it with. And the coat that I would wear with this outfit is this camel color trench coat. So I actually have it buttoned so that the coat doesn't really wrap around as much. So you can kind of still see the belt underneath the coat. So you see how here I've kind of buttoned the coat like so, so you can kind of still see the belt. And I have the belt for the coat just tied at the back over here. So this outfit would be amazing to wear on Valentine's Day if you don't want to wear the typical colors of red and pink. This one is still kind of on that festive theme, but it's a little bit more of a dusky pink color. So it's not so blatantly Valentine's Day as some other ones are. And I really love this dress. It kind of has this shawl collar. It's a wrap style dress, so it doesn't actually wrap around, but it has that type of look. The sleeves are kind of like balloon sleeves and the bottom is kind of tiered so there's multiple layers and I just think this looks so pretty. It flows really nicely. It has a little bit of sheen to it but not super shiny and the bag that I have paired with this is my beloved Celine Pico belt bag and I have this Dior Mitza scarf tied around it. It's the same Mitza scarf that I usually show with this bag. It's just this is the opposite side of the Mitza scarf instead. And this dress obviously would look really nice with a pair of pumps but since it's the winter time I decided to pair it with a pair of knee-high boots instead. And to stick with this kind of pink color theme I have this kind of pinkish colored coat that I think matches really really nicely with it. So this coat is actually not available anymore but they still do make this coat in kind of like a camel color and I believe there's also a navy one too. So I really love this coat and if you're looking for either of those two colors I would actually highly recommend it. So yeah this is what the outfit looks like together. So for this next outfit, I really wanted my bag to be the center of attention and be the pop of color. So I decided to go for this creamy off-white colored outfit. So the top is a cardigan that I have buttoned all the way up and it has these really fun extravagant balloon sleeves, which I love. And then the skirt is actually this kind of sweater knitted material that was Market it as a loungewear piece, but I think styling it like this, it doesn't actually look like loungewear. So I have this paired with, of course, my beautiful ultra matte navy Lady Dior. And I just think that this navy color looks so nice against this white colored outfit. However, for the coat, I decided to go for something in the blue color family. So I have this really pretty light blue color coat that I think goes really nicely with that color of navy. Sometimes certain shades of blue don't go so well together, but this is actually a perfect 
match. I think that this shade of blue actually looks amazing in the winter. So here is how it looks with my beautiful bag. Now this outfit is really giving me Dior vibes. Of course I do have their 30 Montan belt on, but the way that I have this belted around the waist makes this blazer look like their bar jacket in terms of the silhouette. And underneath the blazer, I have a black shirt dress on and it's a midi length. And the back is a little bit longer than the front is and it's super voluminous because it is tiered. So this whole look really does remind me of the way they style a lot of their runway looks. And the bag that I have paired with this outfit is actually not a Dior bag. So I am pairing this with my classic flap from Chanel because it does have that black with gold hardware look to it. And I think this looks so pretty together. The jacket that I would wear with this outfit is this gray one right here. So it has this faux fur collar right here that is detachable. And this also comes with a sash that you can tie around your waist also. But for this outfit, I would actually just not use that sash. And instead, when I'm wearing the coat, I would actually take this belt and actually tie it around the outside of my coat instead. So yeah, really, really pretty. And with the bag, this is how the whole outfit would look. And here's another outfit with the same dress as before, just styled a little bit differently. So instead of the blazer and the black belt, I have this tan color belt around the waist instead. And I actually really like how black and tan look together. I think the contrast of the lighter tan color looks really nice. And here you can see the details of the dress a little bit better. So the shoulders is a bit of a puff shoulder and the sleeves is around a three quarter length sleeve. So here's what this looks like. And I have it paired with some more kind of camo tan colored accessories. So I have this really cute bucket bag here. And of course, to add on some more camo colored accessories, I would style it with this coat, which is also that same color. And this coat is actually a little bit shorter than the gray coat from the previous outfit. So you see a little bit more of the dress from the bottom, not by much, just a little bit. And this one, I actually would just use the tie from the trench coat because there's less layers with this one because this coat is so warm. You don't really need the extra layers. So here's what this looks like. And of course, can't forget the bag. And here's another cardigan and knitted skirt combo. So this is the same skirt as before. I just changed out the cream color cardigan from before for this really pretty pastel colored argyle one. And yellow is actually one of the Pantone colors of the year for 2021. So this is super on trend. And I really love these bejeweled buttons over here. I've seen a lot of cardigans recently that have these kind of jeweled buttons and I think they're so fun. And of course, this has a kind of grandma chic look to it that I really, really love, obviously, because I style two outfits similarly. And since I have quite a few colors going on here, why not add some more? So this is one of my least used bags because I don't usually gravitate towards color, but I think this looks so perfect together because it really plays off of all of these colors, except this is more of a jewel tone and this is a little bit more pastel. So I love how these look together. And as for the coat, I decided to have a little fun with this. And instead of going for a coat, I actually have this cape style coat here. So this is not going to be super warm, but I think it will be a good option going into spring, especially with these lighter colors. So here 
is this coat and I don't think it is still available in this color but it is available in this really pretty blush pink color so yeah here's what this looks like now this outfit is really simple it's just a cashmere turtleneck sweater and then a pair of skinny jeans and the bag that I'm pairing with this outfit is my Louis Vuitton Nano Speedy and this time I decided that I will kind of spice it up a little bit with the accessories on my bag instead of my outfit so as you can see right here I've tied this really pretty bow on the strap of the Nano Speedy so one of the things that I noticed was in the winter because you're wearing so many layers this bag is kind of hidden amongst all of my layers of clothing and outerwear. So I wanted to tie this bow around this bag to kind of make it a little bit more visible. And yeah, I just think this looks so nice when it's kind of like hanging off the front like that. It makes this bow really visible and then that kind of draws attention to the bag. So I really like how this looks. And as for the coat that I usually wear with this type of very casual outfit and I wear that coat a lot with this bag specifically. It is this teddy coat that I showed you guys earlier in the video. Here's what it looks like on the side that doesn't have the bandeau so nothing really special about it. It's kind of a very small bag for a very big puffy coat but then if I switch it over to the other side I think it looks a lot nicer when there is this kind of bento hanging off of it. And my final outfit is this really pretty lace dress. So the bottom of the dress is a few different tiers of lace. And this midsection right here is kind of like a corset detail, which is so slimming and also very on trend because that whole lingerie look is really popular right now and then this neckline is a little bit of a higher neckline with this sort of eyelash lace detail on it and i'll be completely honest i have no idea where i'm going to wear this to outside of the house but when i saw this dress it was too pretty to pass up so probably going to wear this for a date night at home or valentine's day or something like that and i have kind of like the perfect bag to match with this if I'm going for a clutch and it is this beautiful clutch right here and I'm kind of cheating a little bit with this because I am looking to sell this bag but for now it is in my collection so yes this looks really really pretty together and like I mentioned, I am planning on just wearing this indoors for now, but if I were to wear it outside, I would probably go for this coat, which matches the kind of feminine look on this dress. Here's what it looks like with the bag as well. So that is it for this video and I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up so I know to make more of these styling videos for you guys. And let me know in the comments down below which outfit was your favorite. And of course, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do consider subscribing for new videos every single week. And I'll leave two videos on the screen for you to watch next. So I'll see you very soon. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.